She was a defense barrister turned police informer who claimed to have helped Victoria Police in at least 386 cases involving notorious figures from Melbourne's underworld. A number of criminals, including murderers and drug kingpins, could launch legal bids for freedom as a result of the arrangement. Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews has announced a royal commission into the matter, and former Homicide Squad detective Ron Idle says up to 15 senior police officers turned a blind eye to the consequences of the arrangement. The barrister involved cannot be named. On June 30, 2015, she wrote a letter to Victoria Police Assistant Commissioner Steve Fontana which can now be published after the lifting of suppression orders on the case in the High Court on Monday. The court found covertly informing on clients was a fundamental and appalling breach of the barrister's obligations. But in the letter, she described how she was motivated by altruism rather than any personal gain. The letter sets out in detail her story of why she became an informer and the consequences she faced as a result. I refer to our meetings in 2014 and to the letter I wrote to the then Chief Commissioner Ken Lay, in October 2014, in which I articulated some of my concerns and fears as well as the impact that the revelation of my informer, human source role in the media has had on my life. I refer to and repeat the content of that letter which I will attach to this one in the event that you have not read it. For the sake of completeness, the response I received from Victoria Police in late 2014 to my letter was nothing but disingenuous and offensive. For the writer to reply by inferring that anyone other than police members were responsible for the leaking of highly sensitive confidential information detailing my role was and is simply absurd. Of course that was prior to the IBARC report being handed down in which His Honor Justice Keller made a number of findings, specifically that the manner in which Victoria Police handled me, as an informer, human source, was grossly negligent, 